Good morning children, I'm Miss Elizabeth. Today I bring a recipe to make butter cookies. These cookies are perfect for decorating with fondant. And today I am going to make Easter cookies for Sunday. So these are the ingredients you need to make your butter cookies. In a bowl, sift together 250 grams of flour and 50 grams of cornstarch. Let aside. In another bowl, mix 125 grams of butter, previously softened, and 75 grams of sugar. Once we have this mixed, we need to add one egg, a teaspoon of vanilla, and a pinch of salt. At this point, you want to divide your flour mix and slowly add it to the butter mix. Once you have your cookie dough ready, let rest covered for 30 minutes. While you wait, you can preheat your oven to 180 degrees. Okay children, I have my cookie dough already rested in the counter. Okay, see, I'm gonna show you. Okay, this is ready to go. Uh, but before we start, let me show you a couple of things you need to do. Remember you had preheated your oven to 180 and I prepared my tray for the oven with some oven paper. Okay, I have a bowl with extra flour to put and sprinkle over my cookies and my mat. I have two levels because we want our cookies to be even, okay? And I have a roller pin to spread my dough, okay? I also have three cookie cutters that I've prepared. One is a rabbit, the other one is a chicken, and I have a circle because I don't have um, an egg shape cookie cutter, okay? But we'll make an egg, I'll show you. And this is a scraper that I use to lift my cookies because they can break when you lift them, okay? So if you don't have a scraper, you can always use a knife, but very gently lift your cookies, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put some flour over my mat, like this, and I'm gonna take my cookie dough, all right? I'm not gonna use all of it now, so. First you need to knead it with your hands and then put it on your mat. And with the roller pin, now we can also put some flour on the roller pin or over your cookie dough, okay? We are going to spread our cookie dough. All right, like this. You press gently, okay? You don't wanna to press too hard and you wanna make this very gently, okay? So I'm gonna place my chicken cookie cutter on the dough. I'm going to place my rabbit cookie cutter and I even have room for my circle, okay? Now that you pressed on the cookie cutter, you can lift them up, okay? And first we start taking away the cookie dough that is not a shape, that it doesn't have a cookie shape, okay? And we can knead this again and reuse. All right, now, see, I told you, I'm gonna use my scraper to lift my cookies very gently because they can break when you lift them, okay? Now my rabbit, carefully. And we have the circle. Remember I told you I wanted to make an egg with this. Okay, so let's spread a little bit more flour because now I'm going to, with my fingers, make the, the shape of an egg. Okay, just with my fingers, I'm going to press on the sides and make it have a shape of an egg. Okay, once we have pressed with our fingers, we can spread again with a pin, okay? And now, instead of a circle, I have a shape of an egg, okay? okay? So let me show you my cookie tray, okay? I'm going to put these in the oven. Uh, they're gonna be in the oven for like eight 
or 12 minutes depending on your oven. My cookies just came out of the oven. Okay, and I'm going to leave them on the tray for 10 minutes. Then I will pass them on to my wire rack where I will let them cool down completely. Cookies ready to start decorating them, see? Okay, I have prepared several things. First, I have my silicone mat, which is great to work with fondant. I have my roller pin ready to go. I have a dish and a paintbrush because we're going to need some water on our fondant to stick it to the cookie. And I also have a cutter for, or you can use a knife, just a regular knife, but I have a cutter to cut out shapes. Um, I have my cookie cutters ready to cut my fondant and a little piece of oven um, paper to put my cookie the, as I decorate it to have it standing next to me. Okay, so I'm going to start with the chicken. I think it's, I find it that it's going to be the easiest one. So I'm going to take yellow and I'm just going to start rolling. Okay, so I have my cookie cutter here. I'm going to place it so that I can use the other half with another of my chicks. Okay, there it goes. You have to press hard, okay? And this is my second chick. All right. And so now I'm going to remove the fondant that I'm not going to need. And as the cookies grow a little bit in the oven, I recommend you to, um, once you have the shape already, to press gently with your roller pin so it adjusts to the side, to the size of the cookie, okay? All right, so now it's the moment to stick our fondant on the cookie. First, I make sure that it's got the shape, see? So it's pretty well. Uh, now with the paintbrush, I'm going to paint some water on the back of the fondant, the part that is going to stick with the cookie. There we go, that's enough. Okay, so I'm going to place my fondant over the cookie and just press gently because if you press too hard, the cookie might break. And we don't want our cookies to break. Okay, so I'm just rubbing the surface. Okay, so this is our cookie now with the fondant. All right, we can make a little eye for our chick. I'm just gonna cut a little, little tiny bit make an eye. Actually, I'm getting too thick. Okay, so again, I put my paintbrush where I want to put the eye and I leave a little drop of water there. And now I just have to press to get the eye in my chick. You like it? Okay, good. Um, I'll do this one later on my other stick. So now I am going to decorate one of the um, rabbits. Okay, so I'm going to use white because I like white bunnies. I'm going to keep putting fondant on the rabbits and the chicks and I'll be back in a minute. So as you can see, I have already put the yellow on my chickens, on my chicks, and white over my rabbits. Now we're going to decorate our rabbits with eyes, nose, and ears, okay? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
it looks like I'm going to continue making the rest of my rabbits and I'll show you in a moment I finished my bunnies and I've started with my eggs okay so if you can take a peek at my bunnies okay um first of all I want to show you how I'm going to cover my eggs okay I've already done some and this one I've even decorated I don't know if you can appreciate Okay, and so what I've done is I've rolled out a piece of fondant. I've turned my cookie over because remember, it doesn't have a shape of a circle anymore. So what I've done is I, I've put my cookie over the fondant and now I'm gonna cut it with the shape of the cookie. Don't press hard because the cookie might break. Like this okay and see it fits perfect so I'm gonna put some more water on the back of my fondant oops sorry and I'll take this out of the way and so I'm gonna put it on my egg and then we can just decorate it okay I'm decorating it all in fondant but you can use glitter if you have some glitter at home or um, like rainbow pieces hearts whatever you like and that will be it um, I've also done something with the chicks I've put them a 3d uh, wing and I'm gonna show you because I did it on two of them and I want to share with you how I did my wing okay what I did was just basically um, uh, rolled my fondant and see here you can see the, the other two wings that I cut so I'm just gonna cut like a piece like this and I'm gonna make it a wing for my little chicks here on this side I'm gonna cut like three humps and that will make it look like a wing. See? Yes. And now, see the humps that I said? And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, uh, again, put some water and paste it on my little chick. Okay. So, there it goes. I've got another wing for my chick. So I have this piece of fondant and what I'm going to do is roll it out as I say. Okay. And I'm going to decorate this one, this egg, the green one. Okay. And I'm just going to cut like straight lines to decorate my Okay, I'm going to use yellow and I'm also planning to use pink. Okay, but green and yellow would be great. I mean, if you don't have many colors, you can use just one and then put some sugar sprinkled over or something like that. Okay, 
So now that I have my, I'm going to make the decoration for my eggs. So again, I'm going to put some water. Just when I have little pieces, I rather put the water on the cookie or the other fondant piece, okay? Because that way I avoid getting all my fingers sticky. how it turned out to be. Remember it was all green and now it's pink, green, and yellow. I hope you enjoy making these Easter cookies and I would love to see a lot of pictures with your own creations. Okay, see you. Bye bye.